Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So I'm going to be doing a couple of different um, pours for you today. One I am going to be using a mix that I was using for a while, but I've just not been successful with it. I've been having a lot of troubles with melting cells. And um, spoiler, that's this first one. This first one is 50% Valspar, 50% Bear. This is the new uh, Wild Atlantic from TLP. I love this color. I love the new TLPs, but I'm trying two in this pour. Mint Chip, which is really similar to Prey Night, but Prey Night is a little, has a little bit darker tint to it. This is a little cooler. So um, I just wanted to share with you uh, those two new TLPs, they are coming out um, October 13th. There will be 13 new colors, and um, those are two of them. So I'm really loving this. Uh, I using, I'm using, <laughs> I can talk here, uh, the PPG Multi Pro as my base. This is the eggshell in the... Um, pastel and white base and my colors uh, was the golden turquoise then I had the T the triart uh, interference turquoise the wild Atlantic the mint chip from new t the new TLP TLPs and then the last color that I used was the fluids from triart uh, the turquoise thalo light and then my cell activator is the carbon black from triart so i'm loving these new triart colors i really like the cells that the triart uh, it produces so definitely my new go-to cell activator uh, i'm okay so and this one my that 50 percent Valspar 50% Bear combo is a little thick with my paints. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I've never really been a super fan of the Bear 8300, but I was having some pretty melty cells with the Valspar and Varathane mix. So I kind of started switching things up and trying different things. So I tried the that that mix and I'm just having problems with the Josanya, I think, in there. I used the Josanya to wet my pigments. So the mint chip and the wild Atlantic on this pour were wet with the Josanya gloss varnish and honestly not very much. I am pretty sparing whenever I use the Josanya and I basically just make a paste out of it to wet the pigments and I just have had so many problems with my, my cells melting with the Josanya. Um, and the bear mixed and so I did it on this one I was hoping I would have good results and once again I was kind of disappointed um, I'm using my little hair dryer here and normally it's fine but these paints were very thick um, to be honest a little thicker than what I like uh, I think typically I don't have a problem blowing out with this little hair dryer, but I was really having to keep the hair dryer very close to the paint on this one and it moved very slowly. It turned out fine, but the only problem is in the end I had some melting cells, which I will show you in my final result. Um, at the very end but I do I really liked how this composition turned out I did the blowout 
and I was just spinning to see how this would work out. This is, by the way, is an 11 by 14 canvas. It's a level two by Artist Loft. Uh, and I really, I really liked this one. I was really bummed when the cells melted. Um, I honestly, it's fine. It's not terrible. There's only a couple of spots where the cells melted. And I'll show you that in the final result. But there's that part right now where there's like the, the black and the white. It's at the bottom now that I'm not really loving. It doesn't really match the composition here. And if you kind of watch uh, that part, once the weight of the paint gets down there, that part moves pretty quickly. So I wanted to get it off anyway because otherwise I would have had um, problems with it drying. So now you can see the weight of the paint is down there and it's moving pretty good. So I'm just gonna try and get that darker like gray black part where I kind of dug into the pillow paint there. I'm gonna try and get that off and then I'll tilt it back uh, and kind of get the paint more even on my canvas. But I actually really, really like this one. This one was actually a great um, composition for me and uh, I was pretty bummed with the melting of the cells. And honestly, I did this and I did another one which will be in my next video you'll see I do another comparison because I did two different canvases. I did this one and then I did kind of some brighter, sunnier colors and I used the same pouring medium and in the other one, my cells melted as well. So I honestly went through a lot of emotions at that point and uh, I said to myself, I'm never doing another bloom. These are ridiculous. And why are these cells melting? But then I composed myself and I got on the um, Shelly Art group on Facebook and I just typed in melting cells. And you wouldn't believe all of the comments, suggestions, help that there is out there on that Facebook group. Uh, for those who uh, have taken the class, I definitely recommend it. There is a coupon code in the description box if you'd like 15% off uh, of the class. But I definitely recommend it. That um, class is amazing. The new revamped class is really good. And then also the Facebook group is so helpful because... There are many members that have tried many different things and have uh, really some tried and true results. So I was so, so happy that I was able to get on there and kind of change things up, change my pouring medium, try something different because what I did try worked. So that'll be the next pour. Uh, this is a two for one. So this is how it turned out. I thought it was pretty cool. And I mean, the results, you see the, there's some peacock pearls. You can kind of see, I don't have my flash on, but you can kind of see the shimmer where the wild Atlantic is and the uh, mint chip, mint chip, yeah, mint chip TLPs are. And yeah, see some pretty cool peacock pearls there or peacock cells. Um, not peacock pearls. Peacock pearls are another technique that I do, but these are the peacock cells. So this is with my exper experiment number one with the 50% Valspar, 50% of the um, Bare 8300 using Josanya to wet my pigment pigments. So now on this one, I changed things up completely. I took Josanya out of the equation completely and I used GAC 100 to mix, to wet my pigments. So I just put a little pigment in the bottom of my cup, 
used a little bit of GAC 100 and then I finished with just Valspar Deep Base C, nothing else in my pouring medium other than the paint. And I really am so, so happy with the results. <clears throat> um, I did not have any problems with cells melting. I think that it turned out beautifully. I was really, really pleased with this one. Um, I've, you probably may have seen it on Facebook. I have posted it on Facebook uh, prior to this going out um, video being being released. But yeah, I really like it. It when it dries, it's not quite as uh, glossy as if you used the varnish, the gloss varnish and uh, the Bare 8300, but that's okay because if you're gonna resin a bloom, it's gonna be really pretty anyway when you resin it, or if you add a, glass, a gloss varnish, you're gonna get the gloss anyway. So really not a big deal. This one turned out really, really pretty really happy again same exact colors layered the same way um and i just i really love how this one turned out so you guys will have to let me know what you think if you've had problems with your cells melting let me know because i'd really like to know if i'm not the only one i mean i obviously know i'm not the only one because i found some really good results on the Shelly Art Facebook page, but if you have any other suggestions for me uh, of other things that m might work, I'm always happy to hear them. Uh, I hope this helped some of you maybe if you're having problems with your cells melting uh, that you can maybe rectify that situation. I'm happy that I was able to rectify it here with um, just going with the F Valspar straight out of the can instead of mixing it with the Bare 8300. And then on the next one, you're gonna see kind of where this doesn't work for every pigment. And um, I'm excited to share that with you, but you're gonna have to wait a little bit to see that video. So I'm gonna let you watch the rest of this. I'm gonna tilt it out. I'm gonna do a little spinning and uh, I really appreciate you guys being here. Stick around to the end because then I will explain to you and show you where in the other formula, how the cells melted and in this one, how it didn't. So I'll be back with you in just a minute.
Okay, so here's our dry results. And here you see how the cells all melted there in that area. Um, it still is a really pretty um, effects, but I just am really upset about how that melted. Um, there's another kind of couple areas where they melted a little bit, but not bad. If it had ended up like this whole top portion, I wouldn't have been upset. But where it melted there near the bottom is very upsetting. Here is the results with the Valspar PM alone. See, no melting cells. They're very crisp. They turn out really nice. Um, I'm super happy with this one. And I have to say that this might be m the new direction that I'm moving in with my blooms. I am going to try one more thing that Shelly, uh, she did in the Shelly Art um, classes at PoreCon in wetting her pigments with the Varathene. So we'll try that and see what happens. Thank y'all for being here and I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.